Beer in Belgium, Wikipedia article audio. Beer in Belgium varies from pale lager via the amber of special and lambic beer, red of Flemish red, to black of scotch and stout beers. There are approximately 180 breweries in the country, ranging from international giants to microbreweries. In 2016, UNESCO inscribed Belgian beer culture on their list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity, noting that Beer culture in Belgium combines know-how concerning nature, social practices and craft skills that constitute an integral part of daily and festive life. Regularly shared between practitioners, knowledge and skills are transmitted from masters to apprentices in breweries but also within families, in public spaces and through formal education. Beer culture in Belgium contributes to the economic and social viability at local level and the constitution of the social identity and continuity of its bearers and practitioners, who promote responsible production and consumption. History Methods A list of Belgian beers compiled by a team of experts and published as a book by Stichting Kunstboek in 2015 listed nearly 1,600 different beers. On average, Belgians drink 84 litres of beer each year, down from around 200 each year in 1900. Most beers are bought or served in bottles, rather than cans, and almost every style of beer has its own particular, uniquely shaped glass or other drinking vessel. Using the correct glass is considered to improve its flavor. Brewing in Belgium dates back at least to the age of the First Crusades in the 12th century. Under the Catholic Church's permission, Local French and Flemish abbeys brewed and distributed beer as a fund-raising method. The relatively low alcohol beer of that time was preferred as a sanitary option to available drinking water. What are now traditional, artisanal brewing methods evolved, under abbey supervision, in the next seven centuries. The Trappist monasteries that now brew beer in Belgium were occupied in the late 18th century primarily by monks fleeing the French Revolution. However, the first Trappist brewery in Belgium did not start operation until December 10, 1836, almost 50 years after the Revolution. That beer was exclusively for the monks and is described as dark and sweet. The first recorded sale of beer was on June 1, 1861. In the 16th and 17th century, a beer termed Crab Bella or was the most popular beer in Ghent. At the peak of its popularity, more than 50 different breweries produced more than 6 million litres a year. Other kinds of beer brewed in Ghent were Klein Beer, Double Beer, Clawert, Double Clawert, and Dusselaer. Belgian Beer Types In Belgium, four types of fermentation methods are used for the brewing of beer, which is unique in the world. However for good understanding of labels of Belgian beer and reference works about Belgian beer often use different terms for the fermentation methods based on archaic or traditional jargon. Belgian beers are mostly typified by their color by their brewing method and alcohol content or by their a special characteristic, except two types Trappist and Abbey beers, which cover a multitude of beers and styles. Trappist beers The brewing of Trappist beers takes place in Trappist monasteries. For a beer to qualify for Trappist certification, the brewery must be in a monastery, the monks must play a role in its production and the policies and the profits from the sale must be used to support the monastery or social programs outside. Only 11 monasteries currently meet these qualifications, six of which are in Belgium, two in the Netherlands, one in Austria, one in the United States, and one in Italy. 
Trappist beer is a controlled term of origin, it tells where the beers come from, it is not the name of a beer style. Beyond saying they are mostly top fermented, the Trappist beers have very little in common stylistically. The current Belgian Trappist producers are In addition to the above, a lower strength beer is sometimes brewed for consumption by the brothers or sold on site. Abbey Beers The designation Abbey Beers originally applied to any monastic or monastic style beer. After introduction of an official Trappist beer designation by the International Trappist Association in 1997, it came to mean products similar in style or presentation to monastic beers. In other words, an Abbey beer may be Pills or Pale Lager In 1999, the Union of Belgian Brewers introduced a certified Belgian Abbey beer logo to indicate beers brewed under license to an existing or abandoned Abbey as opposed to other Abbey-branded beers which the trade markets using other implied religious connections, such as a local saint. The requirements for registration under the logo include the monastery having control over certain aspects of the commercial operation, and a proportion of profits going to the Abbey or to its designated charities. Monastic orders other than the Trappists can be and are included in this arrangement. The Abbey beer logo and quality label is no longer used for beers given the name of a fictitious Abbey, a vaguely monastic branding or a saint name without mentioning a specific monastery. Some brewers may produce Abbey-style beers such as double or triple, using such names but will refrain from using the term Abbey beer in their branding. Bach what connoisseurs now recognize as Trappist breweries began operations in 1838. Several monasteries, however, maintained working breweries for 500 plus years before the French regime disrupted religious life. Even then, some abbey beers such as Afflegium Abbey, whose name now appears on beers made by the Heineken-owned Afflegium Brewery, resumed brewing from working monasteries until the occupation of most of Belgium in World War I commercial abbey beers first appeared during Belgium's World War I recovery. Although abbey beers do not conform to rigid brewing styles, most tend to include the most recognizable and distinctive Trappist styles of brune, strong pale ale or triple, and blonde ale or blonde. Modern Abbey breweries range from microbreweries to international giants, but at least one beer writer warns against assuming that closeness of connection with a real monastery confirms a product's quality. White or Wheat Beer As of 2011, 18 certified Abbey beers existed. Other non-certified Abbey beers include this style makes up the bulk of beer production and consumption in Belgium. Belgian pilsners are not particularly distinctive or renowned by connoisseurs. The top brands include Belgium and Stella Artois, Moss Pils, and Crystal. Stella Artois, originating in Belgium, is distributed globally. The pilsner beer is which is popularly called Pintje or Chop in Belgium was the basis of the Fluges beer distributed during the German occupation in World War II and under rationing. This Fluges beer was watered down to about 0.8 a degree. Bach is a strong lager of German origin, and the Netherlands. Some Belgian brewers have produced Bach-style beers what makes it a style applicable to Belgium. Blonde or Golden Ale this type of beer, commonly called wit beer in Dutch, biere blanche in French and wheat beer in English, originated in the Flemish part of Belgium in the Middle Ages. Traditionally, it is made with a mixture of wheat and barley. Before hops became widely available in Europe, beers were flavored with a mixture of herbs called groot. 
In the later years of the Middle Ages, hops were added to the gruet. That mixture continues today in most Belgian slash Dutch white beers. Hop Accentuated Beers and India Pale Ale The production of this type of beer in Belgium had nearly ended by the late 1950s. In the town of Hogarden, the last Whitbeer brewery, Thompson, closed its doors in 1955. However, ten years later, a young farmer by the name of Pierre Sellis in the same village decided to try reviving the beer. In 1966, Sellis began brewing a wit beer in his farmhouse. Ultimately, his beer took the name of the village and became very successful and famous. Spontaneous fermentation with beers that are unique in Europe, Lambic and the derived Faro, Cuse, and Creek beers, warm fermentation is referred to as top or high fermentation for Trappist beers, white beers, ale, most other special beers, mixed fermentation for the type A Euro Old Brown A Euro trademark beers, cool fermentation is referred to as low fermentation for lager or pills. Some notable current examples are Celis White, Blanche de Namur and Wattes Wit. Their alcohol strength is about 5 to 6 percent ABV, and these beers can be quite refreshing especially during the warm summer months. The herb mixture traditionally includes coriander and bitter orange peel, among other herbs. White beers also have a moderate light grain sweetness from the wheat used. In recent times, brewers have been making fruit-flavored wheat beers. These are a light variation on pale ale, often made with Pilsner malt. Some beer writers regard blonde and golden ales as distinct styles, while others do not. Duvel is the archetypal Belgian blonde ale, and one of the most popular bottled beers in the country as well as being well known internationally. Its name means devil and some other blonde beers follow the theme a Euro Satan, Lucifer, and Judas for example. The style is popular with Wallonian brewers, the slightly hazy Moinette being the best known example. Chuf can be considered a spiced version. Ackle sells Ackle 5 Blonde, Ackle 5 Brune, Ackle 8 Blonde, Ackle 8 Brune, Extra Blonde, Extra Brune. Chimay sells Red Label, White Label, and Blue Label. Chimay Dora Copyright E Gold Cap. Orville sells a unique dry hop 6.2% amber beer, Rockefeller sells three dark beers, 6, 8 and 10 dot, West Mal sells double and triple, West Flatiron sells green cap or blonde, blue cap and yellow cap. A few Belgian beers are pale and assertively hopped. Derenka SXX Bitter has a British style name. Brewerage Van Eek S. Poperings Hommel Beer, another example, hails from Belgium's hop growing district. Lambic Beers Amber Ales Triple Double Lambic is a wheat beer brewed in the Page Tenland region of Belgium by spontaneous fermentation. Most modern beers are fermented by carefully cultivated strains of brewer's yeasts. Lambic's fermentation, however, is produced by exposure to the wild yeasts and bacteria that are said to be native to the Seine Valley, in which Brussels lies. The beer then undergoes a long aging period ranging from three to six months to two or three years for mature. It is this unusual process which gives the beer its distinctive flavor, dry, vinous, and cidery, with a slightly sour aftertaste. Produced by a non-Trappist monastery a Euro e.g. Benedictine, or, produced by a commercial brewery under commercial arrangement with an extant monastery, or, branded with the name of a defunct by a commercial brewer. From Lambic four kinds of beer are produced, 
lambic, gyoz, fruit lambic, and farro. These are beers similar to the traditional pale ales of England, although less bitterly hopped. A notable example is the 5% ABV de Koninck brand, with its distinctive half-spherical glasses. It is popular in its native city of Antwerp. Another is Palm Speciale. Some, such as View Temps, were based on British styles to please troops stationed in Belgium during World War I. Others were introduced by the UK-born brewer George Ma Johnson in the late 19th century. A very strong amber copyright E is brewed by Bush, another brewery influenced by British styles. Wallonian amber or amber copyright E ale, such a La Galois amber copyright E, is considered to be somewhat distinct by some beer writers, and to be influenced by the French version of the Ambre copyright E style. A Bay des Rocks, made by a farmer's cooperative and named after a local ruined abbey, Corsendonc, abbey beer brewed by a brewery in the name of the Corsendonc Priory in Oud Turnhout, Castelbier, monastic style beers brewed in a castle, St. Bernardus Brewery, based on what who originally brewed under contract for the Abbey of St. Sixtus at West Flatiron, but continues on an independent basis, in parallel with production at the monastery itself. Their range is considered a close match in recipe and style to the St. Sixtus beers, which can be hard to obtain outside the area, triple carmeliet, with the three-grain recipe, is produced by Bastille's Brewery, who also make Powell Quok. Bastille's, and Triple Carmeliet, are now part of a bin bev after a not-so-popular takeover in 2016. Triple is a term used originally by brewers in the Low Countries to describe a strong pale ale, and became associated with West Mal Triple. The style of Westmalese Triple and the name was widely copied by the breweries of Belgium, then the term spread to the USA and other countries. Golden Drake was awarded the best tasting beer in the world in 1998 by the American Tasting Institute. This category is used as an independent type for beers that are not Trappist or Abbey beers, but brewed in the same style and will be used as a second qualifier for Trappist or Abbey beers. Double has a characteristic brown color. It is one of the classic Abbey-slash-Trappist types, having been developed in the 19th century at the Trappist Monastery in West Mal. Today, some commercial brewers using Abbey names call their strong brown beers double. Typically, a double is between 6 and 8 percent ABV. In addition to the doubles made by most Trappist breweries, examples include St. Bernardus Pater, Adelardus Double, Merdsu 8 and Whitcup Double. Doubles are characteristically bottle conditioned. Flemish Red this category is used as an independent type for beers that are not Trappist or Abbey beers, but brewed in the same style, and will be used as a second qualifier for Trappist or Abbey beers. Typified by Rodenbach, the eponymous brand that started this type over a century ago, this beer's distinguishing features from a technical viewpoint are a specially roasted malt, fermentation by a mixture of several ordinary top fermenting yeasts and a lactobacillus culture and maturation in oak. The result is a mildly strong drinking beer with a deep reddish-brown color and a distinctly acidic, sour yet fruity and mouthy taste. This style is closely related to Oud Bruin. This style, aged in wooden casks, is a cousin to the sour Flemish red style. Examples include Gouden Band and Petrus. Oud Bruin, or Flemish Sour Brown Ale. Brown Ale. Scotch Ales. 
Regular Bruin or Bruin beers such as Grot Ten Bier are darker than amber ales, less sour than Flemish brown ale, and less strong than double. These sweet, heavy-bodied brown ales represent a style which originated in the British Isles. The Caledonian theme is usually heavily emphasized with tartan and thistles appearing on labels. Examples include Gordon's, Scotch de Silly and Hoof McShoof. Belgian stouts subdivide into sweeter and drier, and stronger, and weaker versions. Examples include Colouerts and Elisalois Hercule. The sweeter versions resemble the almost defunct British-style milk stout while the stronger ones are sometimes described as imperial stouts. Champagne-style beers are generally ales that are finished a la ma copyright thought original for champagne. Examples include Grot Ten Bier, Dias, and Malha Bia Re Brut. They receive a second fermentation much like champagne does and are stored for several months sar li while the fermentation lasts. This creates the smaller, softer bubbles that we know from champagne, but maintains the beer flavor and style. In Belgium Grand Cru is more often used the quadruple, these beers are a mostly a blend of brews, which is often referment as a blend. Stout Saison is the name originally given to refreshing, Low-alcohol pale ales brewed seasonally in farmhouses in Wallonia, the French-speaking region of Belgium, to refresh farm workers during harvest season. Modern-day saisons are also brewed in other countries, particularly USA, and are generally bottle-conditioned, with an average range of 5 to 8 percent ABV though saisons at the more traditional 3.5% strength can still be found. Although saison has been described as an endangered style, there has been a rise in interest in this style in recent years, with saison Dupont being named the best beer in the world by the magazine Men's Journal in July 2005. Historically, Saisons did not share identifiable characteristics to pin them down as a style, but rather were a group of refreshing summer ales. Each farm brewer would make his own distinctive version. Many breweries produce special beers during December. Most contain more alcohol than the brewery's other types of beer and may also contain spicing. An annual beer festival in Essen near Antwerp focuses on this type of beer with over 190 beers available for tasting in 2014. Some brewers that are not Lambic brewers make fruit beers in a similar procé as the fruit Lambic beers. All brewers of Lambic beers make fruit Lambic. Many brewers off top fermentation beers such as Belgian Golden Ales, Belgian Ambers, and Flemish Old Brown beers, that produce beers that usually go through a multiple stage fermentation process, are catching on to the trend to make fruit beers. The process starts after the first fermentation of the wort, when sometimes sugar is added to referment the beer on wooden casks. To make fruit beer, the fruit, fruit juice, or fruit syrup is added to the first brew and referment. These may be termed fruit lambics or fruit beers, depending on the type of first brew. Beer that has fruit syrup or fruit lemonade added after fermentation, in other words, as a flavoring, are termed radlers, definitely not fruit beer. Sometimes following styles are referred to as a type slash style of Belgian beer, however these are not because they cover multiple styles. Beers above 7%, such as triples or strong doubles, are referred to in some sources as Belgian strong ale, although this is not a name used by Belgian brewers. Table beer is a low-alcohol brew sold in large bottles to be enjoyed with meals. The last decade it has gradually lost popularity due to the growing consumption of soft drinks and bottled water. 
It comes in blonde or brown versions. Table beer used to be served in school refectories until the 1980s. In the early 21st century, several organizations made proposals to reinstate this custom as the table beer is considered more healthy than soft drinks. Some bars serve a glass of draft lager with a small amount of table beer added, to take away the fizziness and act as a sweetener, in Limburg it is referred to as a half om. Champagne beers Quadruple or Grand Cru These include Belgian special beers are often served in elaborate branded beer glassware. Unless the bar is out of the specific glass that goes with that beer it is more often than not served in its own glass. Most bartenders or waitresses will apologize if the beer comes in a different glass. Says Zone One of the more common types is the tulip glass. A tulip glass not only helps trap the aroma, but also aids in maintaining large heads creating a visual and olfactory sensation. The body is bulbous, but the top flares out to form a lip which helps head retention. Winter or Christmas Beers Fruit Beers Unused Styles Strong Ale Table Beer Archaic Styles Glassware Distribution International distribution Beer festivals Beer cuisine Appreciation and organizations A vessel similar to a champagne flute is the preferred serving vessel for Belgian lambics and fruit beers. The narrow shape helps maintain carbonation, while providing a strong aromatic front. Flute glasses display the lively carbonation, sparkling color, and soft lacing of this distinct style. Chalices and goblets are large, stemmed, bowl-shaped glasses mainly associated with Trappist and Abbey ales. The distinction between goblet and chalice is typically in the glass thickness. Goblets tend to be more delicate and thin, while the chalice is heavy and thick-walled. Some chalices are even etched on the bottom to nucleate a stream of bubbles for maintaining a nice head. In addition to the profusion of glasses provided by brewers, some Belgian beer coffee copyright s serve beer in their own house glassware. An example is La Lunette in Brussels. Just lambic beer in a flute glass. Orville beer in its chalice glass. Roqueford beer in its goblet glass. Duvel S tulip glass. Quok beer with its unusual glass and stand. Hogarden Brewery wheat beer in its characteristic hexagonal glass. Gilladukn, a spa copyright chill Belgi with bottle and glass. The majority of Belgian beer brands are sold in bottles. Draft beers tend mostly to be pale lagers, wheat beers, regional favorites such as Creek in Brussels or De Koninck in Antwerp, and the occasional one-off. Customers who purchase a bottled beer can expect the beers to be served ceremoniously, often with a free snack. These days, Belgian beers are sold in brown tinted glass bottles and sealed with a cork, a metal crown cap or sometimes both. Some beers are bottle-conditioned, meaning reseeded with yeast so that an additional fermentation may take place. Different bottle sizes exist, 25 cl, 33 cl, 37.5 cl, 75 cl, and multiples of 75. The 37.5 cl size is usually for lambics. Other beers are generally bottled in 25 or 33 cl format. The bigger bottles are sold almost in every food shop but customers do not always have an extensive choice. 
Bottles larger than 75 cl are named following the terminology used for champagne and are limited in quantity. In Belgian Kaffa copyright s, when someone orders a demi, he receives a 50 cl glass. Virtually every Belgian beer has a branded glass imprinted with a logo or name. Belgium contains thousands of Kaffa copyright s that offer a wide selection of beers, ranging from perhaps 10 in a neighborhood Kaffa copyright, to over 1,000 in a specialist beer Kaffa copyright. Among the most famous are Beer Circus, Shea Motor Lambic, and Delirium Kaffa copyright in Brussels, De Culminator and Dude Arsenal in Antwerp. De Get and T. Brugs Beertje in Bruges, Het Bottelje in Ostend, Het Hemel Rijk in Hasselt, Het Waterhuis on de Beerkant, De Dull Griot and Trappist in Huis in Ghent, De Blauwe Kater in Leuven, The Vodra Copyright ES in Liege and the Stillen Geniator in Mechelen. Although many major brands of beer are available at most supermarkets, off licenses located throughout the country generally offer a far wider selection, albeit at somewhat higher prices. Belgium exports 60% of its beer. Some draft beer brands produced by Abin Bev, Stella Artois, Hogarden and Leff, are available in several European countries. Aside from these, mostly bottled beer is exported across Europe. Kaffa Copyright S, exclusively or primarily offering Belgian beers, exist beyond Belgium in Australia, New Zealand, Canada, France, the United Kingdom and the United States, amongst others. Some beer festivals outside Belgium have a Belgian beer bar as an alternative to local products. In North America, a growing number of draft Belgian beer brands have started to become available, often at Belgian bars. Such brands include Brasserie Brunot, Carmeliette, Quack, Mertzu, Mont Saint Aubert, Palm, Rodenbach, and St. Ferillon. Belgium has a number of beer festivals, including a number of traditional Belgian dishes use beer as an ingredient. One is carbonade, a stew of beef cooked in beer, similar to Berf Bourguignon. The beer used is typically the regional speciality a Euro Lambic in Brussels, de Koninck in Antwerp, and so on a Euro so that the taste of the dish varies. Another is rabbit in Guise. In tea spinnacoke, Brussels and Dendiver, Bruges are famed for their beer cookery. In 1998 Anheuser Busch in Bev started a worldwide chain of bars slash restaurants, Belgian Beer Café, serving typical Belgian dishes combined with Belgian beer. The varied nature of Belgian beers makes it possible to match them against each course of a meal, for instance. Beer Passion is a magazine, which also organizes a beer festival. Zythos is the name of the main consumers' organization, successor to the earlier OBP. The Belgian Brewers Association represents breweries. It organizes beer festivals and an open breweries day. The Knighthood of the MASH staff honors individuals who have made an outstanding contribution to brewing and pays tribute to Gambrinus and St. Arnold. Beer writers who have written extensively on Belgian beer include Belgians Peter Krombeck, Gert van Liard and Eric Ferdonk, and Britain's Michael Jackson and Tim Webb. On December 1, 2016, in the 11th session of the Intergovernmental Committee for the Safeguarding of the Intangible Cultural Heritage held in the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa Conference Center, Addis Ababa, as an appreciation towards the beer culture in Belgium, it was inscribed on the representative list of the Intangible Cultural Heritage of Humanity. Arch, a sour beer from Antwerp, Faro 
a beer that was drunk sweetened. Not necessarily the same as the modern Faro, Grisette, a lower alcohol saison drunk originally by miners in Hainault, Hap, a predecessor of wheat beer, made with wheat and oats, Hoppy, an early hopped beer, from the mid 1500s when Groot was widely used, Kut, also called Cuite, a strong beer originating in 16th century France, as Quint, before becoming established in Belgium. Popular with the upper classes, Pecky, a cheap beer, road beer, literally, red beer. It is not clear if this was a single style, it said, a sour beer, Welgbert or Wagebert, similar to Hap, Zwart beer, literally, black beer. It is not clear whether this was a single style. The Bab Beer Festival, held every year in February in Bruges, the festival held every spring in Leuven organized by the consumer group Zythos, the Belgian Beer Weekend held in Grand Place, Brussels, organized by the Brewers Association, Character Beeren Festival in Popring, Belgium's hop growing capital, the Beer Passion Weekend held each July in Antwerp, organized by Beer Passion Magazine, the Modest Beer Festival held the first weekend of Oct in Antwerp, run by Antwerp's Beer College, the Christmas Beer Festival Essen, Alvin Craft Beer Festival, at Pika Brewerage Alvin, Zwave Gem, La GA Copyright Rublinade, Beer and Gourmet Event in a Village in GA Copyright Rueville, Region of Southern Belgium, during second Sunday of July, the Weekend of Belgian Beers, held in Hasselt in November, organized by the Limburg Beer Vrenden, the Weekend of Special Beer in Soyer in February, all informations http colon slash slash w dot s o h i e r dash v i l l a g e dot b e wheat beer with seafood or fish blonde beers or triple with chicken or white meat double or other dark beers with dark meat fruit lambics with dessert <laughs>